contract? Where did you sign your contract? In Indonesia or here? Yeah. Here? Or in Indonesia? Indonesia, right? They sent yeah. you the contract there? Yeah. The first right? time we got first time, yeah? This is the first time, right? First time you go to Indonesia, you appear before a video. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, ma'am. My name is Indariani. <laughs> I can cook. I can. <laughs> I, I hope you get me a Slovenian helper. Uh, <laughs> then they say, oh, I like that. And then give you the contract. 100%. I know you did not read. Did you read? Oh. You just see the my name here, my employer here. Oh, sign. Oh, berapa bayar? Oh, oh, rumah, oh, rumah kecil di mana kan? Ada. So, this you have to see in a contract after you sign. Very, very bad if you terminate. Why? Kamu bayar, right? One month in lieu of notice. If you don't read, you have a problem. So let's see, what is a contract? Here it says, a contract is the meeting of the minds. What is mind in Indonesia? Mind. Pikiran. Pikiran. Pikiran? Yes. Very long. Pikiran. Pikiran. Mind. <laughs> okay, pikiran. Meeting of the pikiran. Once your pikiran and my pikiran meet together, other contract right so meeting of the minds between two persons who are these dimana what is who in the between two persons you and me kamu employer kamu right whereby one binds himself, one together bind himself with respect to the other, respecting the person, I bind because I respect you, I respect me with our minds, to give something or to render service. Domestic, service, domestic helper render some service. To give Oh, what I must give. My son got married. I said, I give you my house. That is, must be, have contract because the house is real property or land and building must have contract in the, in the, in the government, right? So, I have a contract to give. I buy coffee from Indonesia, I sign contract, the person in Indonesia has the right as the obligacy to send me the coffee. Aku, obligacy, give the buyer. So, ini ada contract. Because tidak ada contract, ada masalah. Right? When you get married, did you sign contract? <laughs> yes, or you already throw away? <laughs> Oh my God. Just asking. <laughs> you sign contract? Yes. When you sign contract, you look at your husband. <laughs> and then your husband look at you. Oh, at the meeting of the minds, sign the contract. <laughs> after that, makan, makanan, right? And then after the night time comes. Triple C. <laughs> triple C. Go home. <laughs> the night time, go home. All the guests go home, right? Now, a contract is meeting of the minds between two persons, whereby, right, one binds himself to respect to the other to give something or to render some service. When you come to your employer, when you sign the contract, you are supposed to render service to the employer and the employer at the contract niya to pay you money. Right? In the contract, everything is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the contract. How are contracts perfected? Why do we have a contract? Number one, contracts are perfected by mere consent. What is consent in Indonesia? Consent. Permissive. With your knowledge. 
Example. I sign contract, marry her. Okay. I sign contract to marry her, right? If I marry her, that means she and me agree. I did not force her. I did not say, you marry me, I give you SMU diploma. <laughs> right? No, but, but there is near consent, meaning she and me agree. You and your employer, right? Your employer, look at your picture. Ah, chan, bonita, chan, tic. Very good. Ma, can do the food, can do everything, can do everything, can do everything. Okay, I consent, I sign the contract. And then you, look at your employer. Very good. Nice looking husband. <laughs> Baby, okay. Now, you give your consent. Any permissi or your own self giving the contract. Tidak ada consent. Tidak ada contract. If she does not agree and I force her, ini the contract. So very important consent. When you enroll in the university, ada formalir. That is contract. That means you sign that you follow the rules. By this contract, the company must give you the service to lecture. Alright? So, consent, very important. No consent, no contract. Alright? Okay. Now, you know, in, in Hukum, if a husband asks the wife, right? Husband and wife, right? Must sleep together, right? If the husband wants to touch the woman, and the woman says, no, three times, namanya rape. R-A-P-E, namanya rape. You know what is rape? Yes. Ah, so make sure you like your husband. So you can give the consent. I consent very well. Yeah. Three. If you see the movie um, Disclosure, I think it's like that. You know, the woman was forcing the man right, to do something. But the man's cell phone on, open. So the, the man says, no, 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 no. And then when they go to court, the man just show the cell phone. That's why me, I always make sure my girlfriend did have the cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> right? Really. If you say yes, if you say no, 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 three times, and still the man insists, ini rape, because ini ida ada consent. What is consent in Bahasa? Like permisi, right? Like permisi. Tuju. Persa tujua. Persa Oh, very long. Consent. Persa jutua. Five syllables, right? Tidak ada persa jatua. Kakak. So, very, very important. The element of contract. Consent. Tidak ada consent. No. That's why when you marry, the priest asks you, do you marry this man, this woman, etc., etc., and you say, yes, contract ini. Right? Because kamu, give the perser. Okay. okay. So, consent, number one element of the contract, right? So, characteristics of contract. What is are the elements of a contract. Number one, consensuality. Ini namanya consent. Tidak ada consent? No. Number two, liberty or autonomy to contract. Ini namanya, very simple, freedom. Right? If I force you to sign the contract, ini tidak ada contract. You must be free to sign the contract. You think I can marry her? No. Because aku ada... Ada one wife also. So aku... Aku cannot marry her because aku not free. Right? She cannot marry me because she is not free. So 
he, she, and me get married, no contract. Why? No freedom. She is he sing, she single, I am single. She has many boyfriends, I have only none. So we agree, we marry. Yes, because freedom. I can marry, she can marry. That's why, if you have a contract to me to sell your land, but you do not own the land, then you have no freedom to do contract with me. Right? So number one, permissive. Number two is freedom. You must have the right to do the contract. I cannot teach here to teach you if Aku cannot teach the hukum. Right? But Aku had the qualification, had the permission of university to teach hukum. If not, I have no right to be here. So, number two is liberty. Number three is mutuality means two persons agree. That means you and me agree this is good. Me, mutuality. Consensuality is meaning giving the permission. Mutuality means we like it together. If you bury your husband and you do not like even his face, the mutuality. Right? If you like your wife and if you like your husband, ah, tall, dark, and very dark. I like him. And then she thinks, and she thinks, oh, beautiful, come from good family. In me, that is mutuality. Both of you believe it's going to be good. When you sign the contract with your employer, right? Mutuality means the, co the employer believes you can help her. You believe he can help you as far as your money requirement is concerned. Mutuality. Okay? Contracts like that. Next. Relativity. Relativity means contracts takes effect only between the parties. Only themselves. So, you have a contract between you and your employer, right? Relativity means you. the contract is between you and her, not another person. Did you sign a contract with your agency? No. You only sign a contract between you and your employer. If you sign a contract with your agency, it is between you and the agency. The employer out. Right? So this is what we mean. Relativity means it is between the two parties who agree. Did, have you seen a contract? Okay, I marry you, but I sleep with him. Different. <laughs> you mean not mutuality. Right? Now, next, obligatoriness and performance in good faith. In contract means, kamu aga obligasi to do it. That's why you sign, right? You don't sign and say, okay, ma'am, I go on vacation. Right? You sign because kamu aga obligasi or you have to do something. In good faith. Who knows what's meaning of in good faith? In good faith, tia, tia, with all my heart, right? Uh, in good faith means I will do it with all my heart. That means nobody force anybody. Meng menga. Ini characteristics of contract. Contracts like that, whether you like it or not, contracts like that. Right? Ini very important come out in the examination. What are the requisites? What is the requirement for contract? Number one, consent. What is consent again? Pers two, two one. Persi, persu tu juan. Persi tu, persi tu ju, persi tu juan, persi tu juan. Ah, consent. There must be consent. No consent, no contract. Number two, object. Object means something that we are talking about. Example, you sign an employer, a uh, contract with your employer, what is the object? Meaning, you will work for him and he will give you the money. So the object in it is the work. You are supposed to do something. If we have a contract, you deliver my car, the object is the car.